The announcement trailer for Far Cry 6 has arrived, and with it comes a ton of new information about where we'll be and who we'll be up against in the latest installment of the long-running series. Let's dive in on what we know and what we think we know. Far Cry 6 is set in the fictional island nation of Yara, which is having some difficulties currently. Protests and conflict in the streets between citizens resisting a dictatorial regime and that regime's militarized police rage outside the palatial home of El Presidente. Far Cry games tend to center on ideological conflict and revolution, so this is a perfect premise for a new game in the series. One of the first things we see is an old-timey car and then a model of that same car being built by Diego Castillo. More on him in a minute. Note that Diego has a smartphone, though, indicating the game is set in modern day. Yara has a frozen-in-time aspect to it, similar to how Cuba was under Castro. Perfect, but useless. While there will be jungle, beachside, and other traditional Far Cry locations in the game, Far Cry 6 will also feature Yara's capital city of Esperanza. This marks the first extensive urban environment in a Far Cry game. City living opens up a whole bunch of new gameplay possibilities that could really change how Far Cry 6 plays compared to its predecessors. Will we see enhanced climbing abilities? Or maybe a grappling hook that can be used anywhere as opposed to in predetermined places like in the previous games? Another Far Cry hallmark is an intelligent, charismatic, and thoroughly terrifying villain, and Far Cry 6's big bad is Anton Castillo, Yara's tyrannical ruler. However, our point of view in this trailer centers on his son, Diego Castillo, played by Anthony Gonzalez, whose voice you may recognize as Miguel from Pixar's Coco. What are you doing? Anton, like so many great villains, doesn't see himself as evil. He sees the horrible things he does as necessary to keep order in Yara. He takes the riot outside of the palace as an opportunity to educate Diego on the burden of leadership by placing a live grenade in his son's hands. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Anton and Diego are the first father and son villains in Far Cry, with all the generational tension that implies. Notice that we don't see Anton's face for a long time in the trailer as Diego sees him as larger than life and maybe a distant figure. It's easy to speculate that they don't have a very close relationship, with Anton more interested in holding and exercising power than being a doting father. Follow me. Now. Anton's version of parenting appears to be preparing his son to wield power. Note that his dialogue indicates he intends to pass his title on to his son, which would suggest that the people don't have much say in their future leadership. I am El Presidente, which means that someday you will be El Presidente. When we finally do see Anton's face, yep, he's played by Giancarlo Esposito, best known as Gus Fring in Breaking Bad, and more recently, Moff Gideon in The Mandalorian. The fact that Ubisoft has brought in an actor universally acclaimed for his work as some of the greatest villains of recent years indicates that they're going above and beyond with Anton Castillo. Far Cry villains like 3's Voss and 4's Pagan Men were memorable and psychologically compelling antagonists, but Anton has an understanding of power over people that doesn't have a precedent in the series. And you must clutch them nice and tight, or we all go boom. As he coolly and fearlessly exposes himself and his son to potential danger, both in the form of Diego's grenade and in the form of the crowd that could throw or shoot things at them, we get a taste of what we'll be up against in the final game. Anton is in charge, or certainly believes himself to be. We have to wonder, when we step into the shoes of a local Yaren swept up in the chaos of revolution, who or what will we replace Anton with? And maybe the biggest question of all, what will Diego choose? We don't see what his final decision is with the live grenade. His fingers appear to loosen on it, but then we cut to black. Diego isn't his father, at least not yet. Will we be able to influence his choices, or will defeating Anton make Diego into an even bigger threat than his father ever was? Could Diego be an ally to the revolution if we play our cards right? Well, we can't wait to play Far Cry 6 and learn the answers for ourselves. 